All right, so we began uh, streamlines, and we found our streamline equation. Let me just rewrite that. Our streamline equation was d lambda is equal to dx over vx, which is also equal to dy over vy, which is equal to d z over vz, okay? So let's do one example. So we'll call it example. And here the problem is they give us a velocity function or a velocity field. And that velocity field is given by xi plus x times x minus 1 times y plus 1 j. So kind of a big y component there, but that's okay. And they're asking, find the streamline equation at x equals 0, y equals 0. Okay? So the very first thing, let's write down our vx, our x component of our velocity field, which is just x in this case, and our y component, which is this big thing right here. And that's equal to x times x minus 1, y plus 1. Okay, so that's, there, there's no z component. Obviously, this is a two-dimensional uh, uh, flow. And we have v of x is equal to x, v of y is equal to x times x minus 1 times y plus 1. Okay, so all we do is uh, just plug in these into our streamline equation. Okay, so we're going to get, if we plug it in, we're going to get dx over vx, which is just x. And that's equal to dy over vy, and our vy is this thing. So it's going to be x times x minus 1 times y plus 1. Let's extend this line a little bit. Okay. Uh, the very first thing uh, I notice is that this x and this x cancel out. That's good. We like things canceling out. And so then we're left with dx is equal to dy over just x minus 1 times y plus 1. Okay? We can multiply both sides by x minus 1 to move this x minus 1 over here. Right, so we'll, we'll get x minus 1 dx is equal to dy over y plus 1, right? And now we have same variables, or a similar variable, uh, x and x and y and y. We have them on the same side. We're, we're good. We can now integrate both sides, okay? And on this side, if we integrated x minus 1 in respect to x, we'll get x squared over 2 minus x plus a constant. We'll call that uh, c naught. And on the right side, we'll actually get ln of y plus 1 plus uh, another, another constant for this side. We can call that c1. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this constant from this side and bring it over here. So we'll get x squared over 2. x squared over 2 minus x is equal to ln of y plus 1 plus c1 minus c0. Okay? And here, constant minus a constant gives us just a constant. We'll just call it c, no subscript. Now, let me just rewrite that really quick. x squared over 2 minus x is equal to ln of y plus 1 plus just a constant. Now, we want to figure out what this constant is. And, and they, they want us to figure out the streamline equations at x equals 0, y equals 0. So we'll plug in x equals 0, y equals 0 down here to find what our c is. So, we'll just plug that in. 
0 squared over 2 minus 0 is equal to ln of 0 plus 1 uh, plus c. Okay, so on this side we get 0 is equal to ln of 1 plus c. And ln of 1 here, well, that's 0. So we find out that c is equal to 0. Well, that's kind of a good thing. And so finally, let's, let's rewrite our streamline equation with c is equal to 0. We'll get ln of y plus 1 plus 0, right? So plus our constant, which is 0. So there's our streamline equation. Let's uh, try to simplify this and solve for y. So we can, we can exponentiate both sides, raise everything uh, by e, or from e, and we'll get e to the, uh, camera's not focusing, e to the x squared over 2 minus x is equal to, well, e and ln, well, they obliterate each other. We'll just get uh, y plus 1 subtract 1 from both sides to solve for y. We'll get y is equal to e to the x squared over 2 minus x minus 1. And that's it. That's our streamline equation.